Can you say my name if you can hear me? Briar Rabbit. All right, now say it sexy. What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. So lately I've wanted to play PlayStation 4 games with my friends and I've wanted to record the chat. So I both want to record what I'm saying, but I also want to record what my friends are saying and be able to put that on YouTube in a video. Uh, the problem is that I use a headset and if you're using a headset with the PlayStation 4, all the chat goes to the headset and not to your video capture device. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest, simplest way to record chat on the PlayStation 4 using a game capture device. And to be honest with you, I'm a little embarrassed I didn't think of this one before. So stay tuned and check it out. All right guys, here you see my setup and I'm sorry it's a little messy right now, but let's get to the problem. The PlayStation 4 will only send chat audio to one device at a time, uh, whether that be to your Astro A50s or any headset that you have plugged into the PS4, or whether it be through HDMI to your Elgato so that you can record it. So how do we fix that? The first thing we need to do is bypass our headset at the PlayStation 4 connection point. So we're gonna unplug the USB from our Astro A50s going into our PlayStation 4. That will allow the chat audio to go with the rest of the game audio through the HDMI all the way over here to our Elgato. Once it gets here, it gets recorded, and that's exactly what we want. However, if you're used to using headphones or you want to be able to record on a external mic like this Blue Yeti uh, with the Elgato software, you don't want to have your TV speakers turned on because that'll get picked up by your um, external microphone. So how do we solve that problem? We need to plug in a headset. So on this TV, this is a very easy thing to solve. Here's what we're going to do. This is complicated, so I want you to pay extra special attention. We're going to plug our headset in to the TV. Did you catch that? <laughs> All right. So this one took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out, but basically what we're doing is taking the game and chat audio out of the Elgato, putting it into the TV, and then allowing the TV to convert our digital signal from HDMI to an analog signal and out to our headphones. That way we can record without having to hear our game and chat audio through our TV speakers in our microphone, which is just right over here. But Briar, I have a nice TV. I don't have a headphone jack on the back of it. All right, here we have a much more expensive TV that does not have a headphone out on it. Uh, in this configuration, things are pretty simple still. We're gonna plug our Elgato directly into the HDMI port, just like that. And then we're gonna use this digital audio out and plug our headset directly into that. Luckily for us, we have Astro A50s that will accept that digital audio signal. Uh, if you don't, you're gonna need to adapt that somehow. So you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Briar, that's all well and good. We can now record other people talking, but how do we record ourselves and how do other people hear us talking? Well, let's work on getting chat audio out right now because now that we don't have a headset set up to the PlayStation 4, we need another means of getting a microphone into our PlayStation 4. And there's a couple of ways to do that. One is you can use something like the PlayStation I uh, that has a microphone on it. Uh, the quality isn't that great. If you are getting recorded on the other side, you're probably gonna want something like this. This is a blue snowball microphone. This is compatible with the PlayStation 4. You just plug it into the USB port, like that. And that becomes a compatible microphone that sounds really, really good for the PlayStation 4. Now, that won't, however, get recorded by your Elgato. So what we need to do then is use our blue Yeti microphone that we have hooked up to our computer and use that to do a live commentary over our recording. So your chat is getting recorded, you're putting your own commentary over that chat and you should be able to hear a two-way conversation at that point. Okay, so this does work, right? You can record chat audio using your game capture device like an Elgato. Uh, People can hear your chat and you can record basically a commentary over the chat so that it looks like there's a conversation happening in real time. Uh, it is a bit of a workaround and depending on what your TV outputs look like, you may need some sort of an adapter. An adapter like this, if you have RCA outs, 
uh, on your TV, but you need a three and a half millimeter in for your headset, you can buy a headset adapter like this for three or four dollars on Amazon. If you have only digital audio out on your TV, things get a little more complicated. You might have to buy some kind of a converter on Amazon, which can be a little more expensive. But if you have a receiver hanging around that will do that for you, uh, that can be a nice workaround too, but it is a great big box that is going to be in your setup somehow. Uh, and if you're only using it for that, that can be a little inconvenient. What I'd really like to see here is for PlayStation 4 to be updated so that it will allow you to send chat in two directions. One going down your HDMI line and one going to your headset. So basically it's splitting your chat up so you can record and hear it in a uh, headset that's attached to your PlayStation 4 at the same time. But until they update it, if they ever do, this will work and it's a relatively low cost solution to getting chat audio into your Elgato for recording. Uh, and this will work great if you like to play with friends and you like to post those videos on the internet or if you like to do trolling videos or anything like that. So thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know how it worked for you, uh, what kind of options your TV has for audio out, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.